Hey, what's up everybody? This is Cerismo, and today I'm going to show you how to make a house synth. Um, this is really like the backbone for a lot of these uh, house songs that you hear. Um, some artists that use this, this type of synth are um, anywhere from Avicii, Swedish House Mafia, uh, Cascade, uh, you know, the list goes on, Axwell, uh, Calvin Harris, yada yada. Um, but it's a really, really useful synth, and um, I hope that you're able to use it. So let me just uh, play a clip of what the synth sounds like. This is just a quick uh, little section that I put together, so you get an idea of what you can do with this synth. Here we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with building this thing. Um, so the first thing that you're going to want to do, as usual, is create a combinator. And then next, create a Thor synth. And make sure that you have that initialized. And go ahead and show the programmer here. Uh, so next we're going to make sure that we create three multi-oscillators. One, two, three, and move the octave up one. So move it up to five for oscillators one and two. Go ahead and activate these. Um, we'll keep this low pass filter because we might use it for effects like during the builds and the breakdowns or whatever. Um, so go ahead and push this all the way up. Bring the envelope, or excuse me, bring the velocity in the KBD all the way down. Um, I think this is okay here. Bring the tune for the first one up to about 10. Um, bring the tune for the second one down quite a bit, just because you want you don't want these things to be exactly the same. You want to build, um, you want to switch it up so it sounds nice and fat and rich. Uh, so about minus 15 for that, and just bring this one down a little bit. Um, and then the amounts. I think the amounts are fine how they are. Okay. So for the balance in the mixer, uh, we will go ahead and bring this down a tad. About 59 or 60, right in that range. And then for the oscillators 1 and 2, we just want to... Oh, you know what? We'll keep this the same. And then for oscillator 3, we'll bring this down quite a bit. Is just kind of kind of in the background to negative 6.8. Uh, we're not using the shaper here. For the amp envelope, go ahead and push up the decay and sustain all the way. And then uh, for the release, we can keep it how it is, but just keep in mind that you can play around with this. And um, you know, the higher you bring this up, the longer you'll have sound when you release your chord or your keys. Um, so you can play around with that later. Oh, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna need to bring this way down because this is gonna be loud when we're done with it. It's about minus 15 is fine. 15, 16 is fine. Negative. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and add some effects here. So first, we'll go ahead and add the scream synthesizer. Uh, where are we? There we go. Scream distortion. Rather, it's not a synth. It's a distortion. Um, bring the damage control down to. About 25 or so should be fine. And then bring this distortion type to tube. And then parameter 1, bring it up to about 98 will work. And then parameter 2, bring it up quite a bit here. About 102, about 3 o'clock should be fine. And then for the cut, we don't have to worry about that. And for the body, you can play around with this. Again, you can play with it later. Um, you can make some pretty cool sounds, but we're not we're not worrying about this for now. Okay, so next let's create an equalizer. M-class equalizer. Make sure it's on. 
We'll want to do the low cut just to get rid of any muddy low frequencies. Activate the low shelf and bring the frequency to 345-ish, 340-ish. And then bring the gain up, bump it up to about three or four, three and a half is good. We'll keep the Q the same. And then we'll leave we'll leave these two middle parameters the same. And then for the high shelf, we're gonna bump uh, the frequency up to 3.5. Bump it down to 3.5 rather. That should be good. And then for the gain, bump it up. We want to have a nice, rich, bright sound. That's important with these synths. Uh, that should be fine. And then for the Q, I think it's fine how it is. Yeah, just keep that the same. And then next is the compressor. This way, this synthesizer doesn't have to compete with the other sounds that are hitting at the same time that the synth is hitting. Uh, so we'll bring the input gain up to about three. Uh, the threshold stays the same. We'll add a soft knee here, ratio is good. And then for the attack, we'll bring that one down to about 20. 20, 25 is fine. And then for the release, we will bring that down a bit, about 160. We need to add one more device here. Let's go ahead and add the reverb. All right, so we'll do the RV7000. And we'll just bring down the dry wet a bit, I think about 15 or 14 is fine. All right, and we can actually bring up this release a little bit so that our sound continues. And that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, so hope you find this tutorial useful. If you like this synth, if you like this tutorial, uh, subscribe, give me the thumbs up, leave a comment, and there will be many more videos to come. Thanks for watching.